again, welcome to Walk University, the series this week. Um, we are very excited to host and give you guys all the details of what to expect. But before we get too far ahead, just the general um, meeting etiquette. It is being recorded, so you can go to YouTube and be able to, um, if you missed a question, kind of preview that video again. Best way to view is make sure you go to your view options at the very top of the page and choose the side by side so you can see the current speaker in the presentation slides. Um, of course, your lines will be muted, so make sure that you use the chat feature that uh, if you have any immediate questions and comments, uh, we will have one of our staff um, perusing through all of those uh, questions and making sure you get an answer right away. Um, and again, we said we uh, can't do live, but we um, will make sure we're answering the questions as quickly as we can in chat. Um, and so let me introduce Lisa. So Lisa, introduce yes, yourself. Thank you, Kelly. Just to give a little background on ourselves, so you know, some of you um, from different areas don't know who we are. I'm Lisa Schaefer. I am the walk manager for part of the Greater Kentucky and Southern Indiana chapter. I have three walks, and um, my largest walk is in Evansville, Indiana. Then I have one in Paducah, Kentucky, and also in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. And then I also manage our Rivals event that's here in Evansville, Indiana. And that's another fun event um, that we normally have that's a blondes versus brunettes flag football game. But today's talk is all about walk, so we'll move forward with more walk talk, and I'll let Kelly give you a little background information about herself. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Yes, so I am also a walk manager uh, for the Greater Kentucky and Southern Indiana chapter. I oversee four walks in our market. Uh, they start in Bowling Green, Kentucky, uh, Elizabethtown, Kentucky, Owensboro, Kentucky, and Jasper, Indiana. So I do a big circle. Um, so it is great to be with you all today. And the key items today, if you have been on with us before, um, you've probably heard about different walk updates that our other partners in the region have elaborated on the changes. So we will recap those at the end, but today we really wanna focus on best practices and how to get prepped for walk day and what you can do to make sure you make your experience the best. And also there is gonna be changes, um, the best ways to actually process your donations. So we'll also be highlighting those as well. So I will um, let Lisa kind of give you the first step. So obviously we want everybody prepared for walk day to hopefully have the best experience that you can. And we're so excited. I'm sure you've heard by now that we're moving forward with walk, just not as a large in-person gathering event. You know, we want to encourage everyone to still get involved and show your support. Walk in your neighborhoods, you know, with small teams, family, friends, or even walk by yourself, wherever that mm -hmm. may be. Uh, we want to make sure that everybody is safe and socially distanced and all of those good points. So step number one then in a part of the process is to make Make sure you have your walk team assembled and ready to go for walk day. So in order to do that, if you haven't already registered, we need everyone to register their team right away. Um, that's just the easiest way to stay up on all the latest information. Uh, there's so many different options out there on your participant center. If you have questions, you can weed through there um, and look for all of the different postings and different links that you can go to. There's so many things out there, but we wanna make sure that you're registered and then you reach out to all of your friends, family, coworkers, and whoever you want to join your team, even your neighbors, since we're walking in neighborhoods this year, that would be a great way to get other people involved and, and on board. Um, but one thing we want to make sure is just register, get your teammates on board, and then uh, another way to stay on top of things too, um, we post a lot of things on our Facebook pages too. So if you haven't liked your local Facebook page, please do that as well, because that's a great way to stay up on all of the latest postings and all of the information. And if you have any questions about how to do any of that, please feel free to reach out to your walk manager and we'd be more than happy to walk you through anything that we can and provide any of the answers that we can to everything so far. Perfect, and that actually helps me right into uh, making sure you are utilizing your participant center. So once you're all registered, 
you need to really dive into the updates that um, our home office has done a great job of uh, explaining new ways that you can get involved um, and fundraise. So like Lisa said, go to your participant center and below there's the tips and tools. And we wanna make sure you already uh, link your Facebook. If you have one, link your Facebook and get that fundraiser created. Um, that's a really good uh, tool to use when you're leading right up to the walk. Maybe on that Thursday, you keep posting hey, we are so close to my goal, please help me maybe reach champion or grand champion level. Um, that is a great way to continue to bring funds in. And even if the walk is done, say it's you have a walk in September, um, continue to share that. You can share that all the way till the end of December uh, 31st. Continue to get your uh, incentives mailed to you from home office. So we're really encouraging to utilize this um, this tool this year because it's it's a great social distancing fundraiser and it's very easy to set up so there's lots of instructions on how to make sure you're continuing to reshare this on your uh, page and there's also another tool that you can use to continue to share your facebook fundraiser and that is our uh, walk to alzheimer's app so this year it was created last year um, this year it's getting a reboot it's getting a good upgrade um, so like normal, you can always direct deposit your checks using the app. Um, you can send messages as you can see on the screen. Um, we always tell people don't recreate the wheel. Go on to your participant center, look at the messages. Um, they're already ready to go. So you can go ahead and share it on social media. You can send emails, text messages. Um, it's a really easy way that is hands-free, easy to use. Um, and as well as you can also update your page with maybe a loved one's photo and your story of why you walk. But this year you're going to see on the screen as well that there's an update happening August 27th. This is where the new features are going to be added in. Uh, one of the features is uh, tracking your steps. So this year we want to make sure that you have like a full experience. So in the app you'll be able to say this is when I'm starting to walk and it will track your steps along. Um, so there'll be more details on how that will work and how you can utilize that feature. And there is also a feature that we are still getting more updates on, but it's called our main stage. And that is where you'll be able to actually experience the opening ceremony digitally from either through the app, which will have the link, or you can access it uh, on your desktop. So you'll hear lots more information coming soon before your walks happen. And um, we will definitely be able to answer more questions on that as well. So continue to keep your updates. Um, make sure your walk managers will also update you when you need to make this app, um, if you haven't already downloaded, to re-download it. So another area that's very, very important to walk is regarding our walk t-shirts. So we always have a lot of questions about those in general. So we want to make sure that everybody mm -hmm. knows how things are changing a little bit this year. Um, we know that everyone looks great in purple, of course. And so we want to see everybody that is possible to go ahead and earn your walk t-shirts and be able to show your support by wearing your purple shirts with everybody. So our normal process, if, if you're not aware of that, is that everybody needs to earn their t-shirt by raising $100. And this can be done in so many different ways. Like Kelly said, mm -hmm. there's so many different tools out there um, that can help with fundraising, um, you know, as easy as starting a Facebook fundraiser or, you know, going a little deeper into different virtual fundraising options. There's, there's all kinds of information on uh, and ideas that we can share with you regarding raising your money for your t-shirt shirt. So one thing to keep in mind though, since we are being very cautious about um, staying socially distanced and keeping everybody safe and sound, all of the walk t-shirts are going to be mailed from home office. So we won't have our normal pickups like we do normally with bank day or on day of walk at the t-shirt booth and things like that. So it's going to look a little different since we have to mail those out. So one thing when you register and sign up for walk, 
it always asks for your identifying information and everything. If you're already registered, you can go back in there and just double check to make sure that your address and everything is correct and current. And then also make sure that your current t-shirt size is in there as well. Mm -hmm. So that way, when your t-shirt is mailed out, we ensure that you get the correct size and everything also. We want everybody to be happy <laughs> wearing their purple t-shirts. Um, one other thing that's changing, is if you want to get your money raised four weeks prior to walk if possible. That way your t-shirt will um, be ordered and arrive and everything on time for walk day. Mm -hmm. So that's something we want to make sure that everybody's aware of. But don't fear, if you don't get your money raised before then, we can still accept donations, like Kelly said, until the end of the year. We keep walk open, you know, to, to allow people to continue their fundraising efforts and, and stay, stay active, you know, through the end of the year, if you wish. So you can still get a t-shirt possibly after walk, but mm -hmm. if we want to make sure that um, we're on board and everybody's geared up, it's, it's great if you can go ahead and earn that four weeks prior to what your designated walk date is in your area. Um, so another thing to keep in mind, we want to make sure that everybody is safe and sound when they're walking. So don't forget to mask up. And that kind of leads into our next step to be prepared for walk day is to be creative. Um, this is the fun aspect of walk that we like to share, you know, with photos, with videos and, and different posts and things. We love to see people all dressed up in their, their purple gear, whether it's tutus or fun socks or purple wigs that they're wearing, whatever. It's just great for people to show their support um, by wearing their purple and coming up with new creative ways to, to show um, their, their involvement with WALK and, and why they're participating. So that's something that we still encourage. Be, be prepared to be very, um, very social with Walk this year and be prepared to share, you know, photos and videos and everything with us too, because we'll want to share those with everyone afterwards too. So that, that'll be very important this year. Make sure you, you capture all of those moments that you have on Walk Days, just so everybody can have the same experience across the, the communities. So something that we're excited to announce this year, if you haven't heard already, um, people ask about the flowers. The Promise Garden flowers, of course, are an important part of WALK. Those are rather difficult to mail out because they're kind of fragile, and so that would require you know, a, a lot of effort. So we came up with something else that we think will be really beneficial this year, and those are the WALK flags. So each person that's registered online, all of your teammates and everybody will receive flags, these walk flags in the mail, and they'll be sent directly to your home. And they're going to be fun. You can post them in your windows, in your yard, or wherever, you know, you can put those on display to show in your neighborhood that you're supporting the Alzheimer's Association and that you're a part of the walk again this year. So we're excited to have that new addition. Um, so that's another reason to make sure that your information is current and all of that so that those flags are sent to your home address and, and you get those in time for walk day as well. So that's just some, another fun way. And then you can use those on walk day when you're actually walking and show your support by holding the flags also and your teammates too. Love it, Lisa. As I say, there's lots of fun ways to creative. And uh, I know the walk uh, will feel a little different this year, but we're um, very excited to um, utilize a lot of those new um, new flags and different systems. And um, this kind of leads into, um, even though we have different changes, so bank days um, are not um, the norm this year. So we are changing a lot of different things and wanting to make it still very streamlined and easy for individuals mm -hmm. to submit their funds. So um, these are three different ways that we want to make it very easy because we know everyone has a different preference. Um, so really the first one that we feel that is very um, easy, very uh, real time is being able to directly deposit funds through the Walk 10 Alzheimer's app. Um, and all Walk managers were um, able to utilize, there's a YouTube video of exactly how to walk through it. Um, we also have instructions as well. So if you need those, please, you can see Lisa uh, and I both have our email address list so you can say, hey, I would love to learn more about those. Can you um, send me an email? I'm happy to share that with you. Um, but we always encourage
encourage people if you do direct deposit on the app that you save the check for seven days. Uh, but you would be able to go to your walk website or on the app and see that it has already deposited and you can see it that um, it's live. The next one is really directing your donors. You might have people asking uh, maybe at work that, hey, I would love to donate. How do I do that? I, um, with a lot of teams, you can make a customized link so it's not super long. Um, so every team can customize their link and you can just send it in an email or you can direct them to your Facebook um, fundraiser that's linked to your participant center um, and they're able to directly donate on your walk page. And again, you'll see that in real time um, and those individuals as well as all donations will get a receipt in the mail thanking them for their donation. Um, last but not least is um, if you just want to mail directly your checks in, don't want to worry about any um, online items, you can absolutely do that. I have listed the website, uh, excuse me, the mailing address uh, for you to um, copy paste, save that. Uh, again, your walk managers can help you with that. But the key item is making sure that your funds are directly going to whatever walk you're involved in. So. On your Walk Participant Center, under Tips and Tools, it's um, the tab on the right-hand corner, you'll be able to see this image, the uh, cash and check donations. Um, and so really, if you have multiple checks for one person, say you um, did some kind of fundraiser and you have multiple checks that you need to list out, you would use the contribution tracking form. And it already has where you can put your name, your team name, your location of the walk, and all the details for the checks put it together and mail it in. Um, if you have a huge check that say you have $5,000 and you need to break that up between multiple team members, you would use the team credit split form. Again, print it out and be able to exactly put in your team name, location, all the information for that. And then if you do get cash donations and someone is asking for a receipt, you would use the cash donation receipt there. Um, be able to fill that out so they can have one just for their records. But again, um, whenever we do fill information in, we always encourage people just to go ahead and put their uh, mailing address so they can actually get a hard copy from our home office just to verify that as well. So uh, again, you'll be seeing this many times. Each chapter um, might have different ways that you can talk with them about, but these are the streamlined ways that are Alzheimer's Association is really encouraging people to process uh, donations this year. So if you have any questions, please again, put those in the chat feature and we are happy to answer those. So we've shared a lot of information, especially since this is our third Walk University. Um, hopefully everybody is staying up to date on things, but if not, we can always reach out to any of your walk managers. We're more than happy to answer any questions and to help you along the way, especially if you're a new walker this year or if you've walked with us before and you just have mm -hmm. you know, questions about all the changes because we've certainly had more changes this year than usual, but we're still so very excited to be able to move forward with how walk is progressing and you know, showing everybody you know, that we're still here for everyone and we hope that you'll still stay on board with us and and be supportive and be involved with WALK again this year and to be a part of this great experience too. So we just have some of the, the items here on this slide that are just kind of a recap of things. Mm -hmm. um, we're still going to have the opening and promise garden ceremony and sponsor booths and all of those items will be viewed online. And we'll have more information as that comes along too. Kelly kind of touched base on that on our main stage um, that we'll have set up. We encourage everyone to download the Walk to End Alzheimer's mobile app so that they can have all of those things at their fingertips, you know, and ready to go then for Walk Day. And um, once again, just make sure you're registered. You'll have information on your Walk page. You can look on Facebook for different things. Um, so that's the, the best way to get started to make sure that you're on board with everything. And just as a reminder, in order to get your t-shirt and all of that information, you'll wanna make sure that um, that data on your walk pages is up to date. So if anybody has any questions, let us know. Um, I don't know if there's anything in the chat right now that anybody has questions about. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any questions currently. 
but I know it's a lot of information to absorb. So once you start digging into this and kind of checking out things on your participant center, if you don't find the answers there, just let us know and we'll, we'll help you out in any way that we can. And next week is our last series. So um, again, if you have um, not been able to attend the ones on July 15th or 22nd and would like to learn more about those, our Greater Indiana chapter does have a YouTube link. Um, and so we would be able to share that with you. Please just ask your walk manager for those details. Um, but we would love for you to join us next week um, learn about the best of Walk U, what other details, and any questions that you might have about Walk this year. So uh, we greatly appreciate you all being with us, being a support system. Um, we can't wait to see um, all your Walk photos and just learn about how you all are doing. So again, please reach out to any Walk manager to make sure you guys have a great experience. Um, before we do get off, is there any last minute, I cannot see the chat feature, um, anything, please let us know. And Lisa, do you see any? No, we don't have any questions okay. right now. So hopefully that means everybody <laughs> understands, but, go. but yeah, feel free to contact us. And thank you everyone for joining yes. us today. We really, really appreciate it.